3 March 2022, this film was only available in 35mm format. With the resurgence of film photographers, Kodak released it in medium format too. Thank you, Kodak. Kodak Gold 200 is a low-speed color negative film that offers an incredible combination of color saturation, fine grain, and high sharpness. It is designed for general picture taking situations in daylight or with electronic flash. Due to its wide exposure latitude, you can shoot this film from two stops underexposed to three stops overexposed. If you're looking for saturated colors, fine grain, and high sharpness, then this is your new go-to Kodak color negative film. In their press release, Kodak recommended this film for advanced amateurs who are looking to upgrade from 35mm to medium format photography. Current available color negative films can range in ISO rating from as slow as the bonkers FPP ISO 1.6 through to as fast as Sinister 800T or Portra 800. These films offer greater exposure latitude, i.e. if you're not good at getting the exposure spot on, then you need not worry as even sometimes being up to four stops off, you should be okay. What can you use this film for? As it is a fine grain sharp film that needs a reasonable amount of light, whether it's daylight or electronic flash, it's well worth shooting portraits as well as general landscapes or candidate images. If you enjoy developing at home or in your own lab, you can use the universally available C41 chemistry. Although Kodak recommends Kodak Flex Color Chemicals, there are so many alternatives available that it's really down to you with what you're more comfortable in using. Can you shoot Kodak Gold at box speed? Absolutely. Kodak Gold is an ISO 200 film made for daylight, natural light, as well as electronic flash shooting. I do love working with color negative film and you will find working with Kodak Gold very satisfying to use. It can produce sharp detail images with fine grain in sight. You can use this film for portraits or landscapes, take your pick. I was shooting this film in some overcast conditions which gave a wonderful natural softbox. Ideally, however, I would have preferred a little bit stronger light as I did struggle with very low light conditions in some of these images. Five reasons why you should shoot with this film. Number one, you enjoy shooting sharp images with some fine grain. Two, you are creative and love shooting color. Three, you love working with shadows and contrasts with a greater exposure latitude available. Four, you live or travel somewhere where you have wonderful light and colors available to you. Five, you're a creative and you just want to keep exploring, deepening your photographic journey. And the bonus reason, it's a cheaper alternative to Kodak Portra 160. Why you should not shoot with Kodak Gold 200. You can try pushing this film through stop, but according to Kodak's own data sheet, it's not recommended. This is because at 1600 ISO, the image will become muddy with noticeably visible grain. Furthermore, it suffers from greater spectral sensitivity loss when compared to more expensive professional film stocks such as Portra 160. As such, you'll get a lot more contrast which will give you less room to edit in post. What can you take away? I shot this film in beautiful Regent's Park, London on yet another overcast day. I would be intrigued to see how it would perform in summary and autumnal conditions. See how the colors of nature would render. A studio portrait shoot will also definitely be in order to see how it fares with different skin tones. Be sure to ask your lab to provide you with a separate contact sheet with your film negatives. This way it gives you an opportunity to view your images in hand should you need to review them at a later date. The winning image for me was taken with Fadilla laying on the grass with all the daisies, her left hand touching her hair. The light and shadows are perfectly balanced. It almost seems like the shot was taken with a beauty dish softbox. I think the runner up would be the shot of her looking through the tree. The colours and framing are spot on. It looks great in black and white too. Interestingly, I have never shot this film on 35mm, so it was fun trying some ISO 200 film on medium format. Next time, I would like to see how this film performs in a studio or outside with strobe lighting. A pack of 5 Portra 160s will cost you about £60, whereas a pack of Kodak Gold will come in around £46. From an initial point of view, the colours come out more saturated on this film. However, a more methodical side-by-side -side comparison with Portra 160 will give clarity of the similarities and differences between these film stocks. The standout shot on black and white was with Fadilla looking into the distance and with her hands in her pockets. The lowered angle from which I shot this creates a little more added drama with a slight breeze going through her hair. 
the more you're pushing yourself to create using different techniques and mediums will develop not only your portfolio but also give you an understanding of working in different conditions with different materials who knows you may capture an image which may take you down a new path of creativity so get out and explore love shooting film i would love to hear your thoughts on kodak gold have you shot with it what kind of results have you got with it let me know in the comments below right i'm off to my next shoot catch you on the next video right here see you soon